Hi there, this is Dr. Castiano, and in this video I'm going to show you this 1970 Dot Charger RT that's made in the 1315 scale by Yarkiel of Penix. If you like those Mopars, stay with me to the end of this video because this car is really worth seeing. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for news, your comments below, and your like. So let's unbox this car and take a better look at it. So here we have the charger, that's a 1970 charger that's made in the Panther Pink. This is a Charger RT SE that's Special Edition, which is a sort of sport luxury car at the time. It's got this white vinyl that looks very nice, the white interior, and a black dashboard that's typical of a Mopars, especially 1969 and 1970 Mopars. The trim around the taillights, that was new for 1970. The taillights were about the same for 1969. The rally wheels, that look very nice. And the front grill with the bumper that goes all the way around it. This new air intake, fake air intake for 1970. And the general lines of the car, they are very attractive. That made the 1968 and 1970 the most wanted chargers of all times. One thing that could be a little bit better in this car are those blinkers, which are painted on actually instead of being made in different pieces. Um, since this is an Altanix, perhaps you should have it made that way. So we're going to take a better look at this car in all details right now. As we look at the front of this car, we can see that's very realistic. This front grille is very realistic, although it's just a mesh, it's not a grille. The hidden headlights, they rotate just like it happens in a real car. We have the blinkers down below, that's ma they are made in acrylic. Very nice Michigan license plate. The hood the latch and lock. Reservoir, the horn, the front panel, the radiator, which is very well taken care of. The battery with terminals and cables. The air filter is a 440 Magnum 6 pack. So We've got a lot of power in this car. Hood lock and latch. And the hood, which is very well made. The hinges, the distributor cables, and the valve covers, which are made in hemi orange, just like the engine. The hoses, reservoir, factory stickers. Brake, master cylinder, and the engine bay that looks very realistic. Wood grain dashboard, very nice looking steering wheel, the paddles, the gas, brake and clutch. Now the box has, it's an automatic transmission, but this car is actually manual. Door panels, which are made in white, the seats, the tilt, the new seats for 1970. The gauges that look very realistic, they're all made in acrylic pieces and separate pieces, actually, instead of being just stickers. This is a chrome trim that's actually a decal, but it's a chrome decal actually, not just the paint. The mirror and the vent windows, which are fixed in the RTL Alphanix. The interior's got a carpet. There's no rubber floor mat here. And the seat belts with a buckle. Look very realistic. There's also this trim. It looks very elegant. And those pinstripe gas cap for chargers, which look like the ones in competition cars. One more look at the interior. We can take a better look at the dashboard, the gauges, radio, cloud compartment lid, gear lever, the paddles, seats with seat belts and buckles, the rear seat and the rear panel. This car's got power windows. There's also that compartment on the door panel and the door panel with the wooden grain pattern with the armrest. A liner with the dome light and sun visors. And a door panel that looks very realistic. Chrome trim and a pen stripes. The rally wheels, the trim around the wheel wells, which are separate pieces. These are very nice features of the Altanix. I don't know why, but this car doesn't have Chrysler Pinstar right here in the right fender. Door shuts correctly. 
completely aligned. As we take a look at the rear of a car, we can see that the trunk is very realistic with a spare tire, gas pipe, floor mat, which is made in plastic and simulates the one a real car. There's a rubber seal around the trunk lid, trunk lid open with a trunk lock and the instructions for the jack. So this looks very nice. The tail lights look like the ones for 1969, but they have this different trim around them with a Charger RQ logo right here in the center integrated with the same trim. Trunk lock, which is a separate piece. The bumper, which is very realistic. Reverse lights and dual exhaust. The rear of this car looks fantastic. These are this ERTL Authentic is much better made than those simpler ERTL lines. The base is painted primer with a body color at the outer edges. The engine and tranny, the engine in a hemi orange color, the tranny made in aluminum, starter, front and rear suspensions. They're actually functional. As we can see, they work and the drive shaft spins as we turn the rear wheels. The gas tank and the mufflers look very realistic. Springs look very realistic as well, as well as the shocks. This is a unibody. Very nice aspect of this Authentics line is handle, lock, vent window, antenna, grill, and bumper, lights, auxiliary lights, no rims. So all details are separate parts, the gas cap. They are not just cast in metal with paint on. They have uh, several different components. The negative side of this is we have more components to break. So sometimes those components tend to be a little bit frail, a little bit fragile, just like this bumper guard that actually is broke here. It's that, that's a very unpleasant aspect, but uh, in general, the car is very nice. So ranking this car from zero to 10, I would give it a 10, really. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to give me a thumbs up, to leave your comments below, and let me know what you think about this car in the video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I actually found the bumper guard and glued back together.